Hey guys, welcome to another video I'm on my single player redstone world. This is just where I build all the tutorials and muck around a little bit. So what I've got here is the fastest ticks possible. So here's the actual circuit. Just get rid of that. That is the circuit right there. So this is the quickest it can possibly be because it's one tick pretty much. It's just these both repeaters on one tick and this half of the circuit lights up then this side and this goes back and forth at one tick delay so how I actually turned that on because of course when you build this it's not actually powered so basically you build this and then to turn it on or get it started you're basically just abusing how when you put down a redstone torch it stays on for exactly one tick before turning off if it's powered by um, redstone so when I put this down, it's gonna it's gonna be an off torch because it's powered, but it stays on for exactly one tick, so it lights up half of this, and then it starts the um, repeating of the signal pretty much. All right, now this would be the fastest thing. It would be more useful if it actually worked on everything, but it doesn't actually work on many things. Like here, we got the glowstone lamp. So, it doesn't even work on one or two ticks, but on three ticks, that's pretty much the fastest flashing you can get. And this is also the most consistent. This circuit is the most consistent way of building the one tick delay. But here is another way of building a one tick delay. Basically, it's four torches with blocks on top of it, with the redstone there. And this one's about one tick as well, but it's not as stable. This one's exactly the same timing each each time it ticks. But this one's a bit glitchy and see how it's flashing and gets stuck a bit. That's just because of the torches not behaving properly. And so the only reason why I could see you'd want to build this is because you can turn it permanently on. And then with just the flick of a lever, you can turn it back to the one tick delay. So I'll just jam some stuff in there to show it doesn't really work properly. So it's also useful for other things though. So that's basically the one the two ways to build the one tick delay. Now over here is what you'd want to do if you actually wanted to shoot things out really quick or turn something on really quick. Now I haven't actually tested this with lamps, so I'll grab one of them. Let's turn this on. Nah, with lamps it doesn't work. But with dispensers it does. So as you can see, I just built the one tick delay thing just down here. Exactly the same way as that one. And then I got rid of how I built it. And then on top of one of the repeaters you want to put a block. And then you want to put your dispenser coming off that block. Now, this is good because to turn this dispenser on, all you need to do is power this block. You do need direct power, so you need to put a lever either on the block or redstone going directly into the block. And pretty much you can put anything in here. We'll shoot some stuff out. All that. Seems good. And when I flick this, it'll shoot out at the fastest possible speed. So this dispenser is getting rid of everything as fast as possible. So that's pretty useful. Alright, now just move on to some more stuff I've been mucking around with. Basically these are just diodes. So some of the blocks in the game work as diodes, and pretty much what a diode is, is it's something that only lets signal through one way. So pretty much the blocks that work as diodes is glowstone and every type of half slab. There's a few other types, but I'll just use half slabs, they're the easiest to build. So pretty much if I turn this on, the door will open. I'm showcasing two things here. One of them is the diode showing the current goes through it. So it goes up here and goes, this is the other one, the transparent block. It also goes through the transparent block and opens the door and goes down this way as well. And if I turn that off, now this, this is basically the opposite way around, so this is the lever going through the transparent block and then trying to go down through the diode to open this door. 
And as you can see, it doesn't work. It gets to this diode and does not go down. So that's basically proven the point that it only lets current through the up direction and not back down it. So that's pretty useful if you only want current to go one way. So this lever would open both doors while this one would only open one. Alright. Now this is pretty much the same thing but just showcasing that if you don't use transparent blocks then that blocks the signal. And the diode still works the same way. The glowstone. Alright, now this is a monostable circuit. Pretty much what this does is it just powers the torch and it has the right delay. You've got to make sure this is on a 3 tick delay. So what this does is it shuts the power down so quick that it leaves the block in the air. So this is better as a button, but basically I set the circuit up ready for it and then when I flick it, the piston goes up, it gets pulled down so quick the block doesn't have time to update. So the block doesn't have time to know that it should be waiting to be pulled down again. So it just stays up in the air pretty much. And this is a better way of building it that I just thought I'd show this as well because this seemed to work and I like this design a lot better. So you can basically just build this into your wall and it works exactly the same but with a button. So that's pretty good. Now what was this? This was just my AND gate so this is just a bit different to how people usually build them. This is one that requires it just requires both of these on basically for the output to be on and this just works with pistons so this is good if you want to let another signal through with repeaters that would be the only use for for building it this way instead of the normal way of redstone torches but anyway that's how you do it with a piston to allow for another it's basically a T flip flop type thing you could set up as well as the normal AND gate Okay, here was just a block update thing I was trying to do, but I haven't quite got it working, but you can see what it does here, is it pretty much whenever I update a block next to it, it flashes. Now, of course the flash is working, so you could make something slowly move out, like a timer, but I'm actually just trying to add something to that, and I'll probably make a video on that later, but I'm trying to get it to hold the output. But anyway, I'll just finish up with this thing. This is basically instant redstone. So, basically when building traps or things that you want to be instant, you don't want to be using repeaters because it makes delays. So instead of repeaters, you can just set up this simple piston circuit here. So it's just the piston pushing a block over a torch, and when the block's over the torch, it'll power this redstone. So that extends the signal from this torch, instead of putting a repeater. Basically, why this is good, just ignore that bit, that's just trying to extend it. Basically, why this is good, just pretend this is the floor that someone's walking on, and you got the pistons over this side hooked up as well. Might as well do that, why not? Oh, great. Bloody pistons. Alright, so I'll just build this real quick. Put some blocks behind there. Redstone to power that. What the fuck am I doing? That's way off. Alright, I'll just show you with half of the trap built. So pretty much what that is going to do is when this powers, the pistons will push out. And so that's what you want by default. So when you build your trap, you will have this on. Now, I'll just show you the delays for this. So it's got a delay turning it on. But that's alright, you can build this exact same circuit backwards from here to have the no delay while turning it on as well. But you basically want to leave it like this. So this will be your floor pretty much. That'll be your floor. And so when people are walking along here, you don't want to have repeaters there because you want the floor to pull away exactly when you press this lever. So when I press this, the floor will pull away instantly. See the delay on when I turn it on, but there's no delay when I turn it off. That is because as soon as the block gets pulled away from above this redstone torch, it cuts the power. And since there's no delay in um, the torches giving power to the blocks, then it just does it instantly, no matter how many of these you have. 
So if you want no delay in your circuit, you want to switch all your repeaters over to this little circuit here, and it works much, much better. So that's pretty much mainly for PvP type things where timing is an issue, and you want to make it really quick. But, I mean, you could use it for anything, and it still works just as good. So there you go. That could be the floor to your, just outside your front door. Bam, pull it away, they fall instantly. So, that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. I'm working on a few other things to do with the new redstone locks, but there'll be another video coming out about that later. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.